This screencast will show you how to add modules to sections in your portfolio. A module is a way to add and edit areas of content on a page. Before we begin, it is a good idea to acquaint yourself with the three tabs up here on the top left. The Edit tab allows you to add modules, insert sections, and make other changes to your ePortfolio. This is where you add all of your content. The Preview tab does exactly what it says. It allows you to view all changes made to your portfolio before publishing them. It will show you everything you have already published along with all modules you have saved but not published. The Publish tab shows you the final end product. Everything you see under this tab will be viewable by everyone who has access to your ePortfolio. To add a module to a page, navigate to the Edit tab on the top left. Scroll down to this area over here. This is where you add your modules. Under Basics, there are four modules. You can add a single piece of multimedia to the Image, Video, Audio module. Or add a text area that can include media, documents, and links with the Rich Text module. The Gallery module allows you to add several images and videos in one place that viewers can click through. You can also add a contact form to your portfolio that allows viewers to email comments to you. Once you add this module, you can choose which email address to have messages sent to under the Settings tab. Once you've decided which module you want to add, click Add this module to add one to a page. In each module, the first tab is a preview of content and edits made to the module. Note that this is similar to the preview tab up on the top left of the page. It shows all of the content within the module including unpublished edits and not the actual content viewers will see. The edit tab allows you to make changes to your module and to add content. The publish tab allows you to release your module for viewers to see. Only once you publish your edits will viewers be able to see what you can see under the View Text tab. To give you a better idea of how these module tabs and the tabs on the top left work together, let's edit this rich text module on the page. If you go to the View Text tab, you'll see that a red bar warns you that the text you see is unpublished. This means that everything you currently see in the View Text tab is invisible to anyone else who views your portfolio. Navigate to the Edit tab to add some content to publish. For this example, I will simply use some filler text I've already copied and paste it into the text editor. Click Save once you are done. If you go back to the View tab in the module, you will see a preview of the changes I've made and a red bar notifying you that you are looking at an unpublished draft. Scroll up and click the preview tab on the top left here and you will see a preview of your portfolio. The rich text module will appear here along with the same red warning bar. Click the publish tab and you'll notice that the rich text module has disappeared. This is because we have not published the module and therefore viewers are not able to see it. In order to make these changes viewable to others, go back to the Edit tab. Go to the Publish tab in the Rich Text module and click Publish Changes. Now navigate back to the Publish tab and you will see that the Rich Text module now appears under here and is therefore now viewable to others. Now, let's go back to the Edit tab and add another module. Once you have more than one module on a page, you can drag and reorder them. Find the Drag to Reorder box on the top right of a module. If you click on it, and hold down your mouse while scrolling, 
you can rearrange modules. Let go of your mouse to place your module. Modules can also be deleted if you go to the Delete tab. Check off Yes, permanently delete this module, and then press Delete. Now that you know how to add modules, you can customize and populate your portfolio with content. Watch the screencast titled, Using the Rich Text Module, to learn about going beyond simple text areas.